Today we are doing session two of unit two, and this is about Islamic banking products. Islamic banking products are aimed at investors who want to comply with the requirements of Sharia. The most distinguished component of Islamic finance is the banning of interest. You already know that. Other components include the emphasis on equitable and fair contracts that minimizes the chances of any wrongdoing by any party. It is also desirable to link financing to productivity, generation of income through profit and loss sharing arrangements, and avoid the gambling-like business transaction. Deposits as a common term in banking and finance industry is related to the motive of safekeeping. The Sharia also deals with the perception of deposit under the Amana or Wadia accounts, which is same as safekeeping. However, Islamic banks' intention while accepting money as deposits is not the safekeeping and to return it in full on demand, but to use it to generate income. Moreover, Islamic banks also have special accounts that describe how the deposits made under them will be utilized. In this session, you will be introduced to deposits from Islamic banking perspectives, as well as different categories and features of deposit products in Islamic banking. We will explore the equity-based Islamic financing products, namely the Mudarba and Musharka, which falls under the category of profit and loss sharing or PLS. We will also discuss here in detail how Musharka Mutanaqisa as an updated form of Musharka works in modern Islamic banking. 